what are some of the biggest lessons that you feel would help someone who aspires to have a career like this? Oh, hard work and perseverance uh, and never giving up. Um, finding your own voice, uh, your own unique uh, contribution and, and, and look that, that it you know comes from the heart, comes from right inside of you and uh, owning it for yourself and your, your own style and what you want to do and how you want to convey that. Uh, and it really, it's not, it's like that old uh, turtle versus the hair race. Well, you know, it, it takes time. And I would say even for me, you know, I had the first part of my life being young and being a mom and, you know, putting so much of my own energy into raising our kids and being a mom. And then as they got older and I was really able to take a lot of that creative energy and, and put it back into me and, and what I do in my art and give it even like 120%, you know, that's when I started to see things even happening better because it really does take a, a real concentrated effort and savviness with marketing and business. Uh, I probably spend 50% of my time on that and 50% of my time in, in my studio painting. So, you know, it, it, you've got to learn some good business chops and you've got to understand who your buying market is uh, and how to market it to them and what's the best way to reach them. Uh, certain social media platforms can be great. Uh, blogging can be great. Having a professional good website is important. Uh, getting out, seeing and being seen, uh, Networking in the business community is very important. Um, I tell artists all the time, you know, you can go out and network with other artists and that's wonderful and that's feeds our souls. But at the same time, you got to get out of your comfort zone. You've got to go out and, and hang out with people who are, who are going to be your buyers too. So uh, I can't stress that enough. Uh, business is very important. 